Hyphman HR9 headphones are both amazing and terrible at the same time. In this video I'm going to explain why that is the case. First of all, HR9 is a closed back dynamic driver headphone from Hyphman and you can get it for $200 directly from Hyphman's website. There is also a wireless version of it, which is significantly more expensive. They use the topology diaphragm technology, which features a special nanoparticle coating applied to its surface, which is supposed to result in a more natural and detailed sound. Let's begin with their build. I'm going to say it's interesting. They feature the solid headband, which I was not a huge fan of in the edition success as it was causing some hotspots on top of my head. But here is the thing, hr 9s are much lighter. They're really lightweight, so at least in my case, there are no uncomfortable hotspots. The headband has some swivel and a little bit of tilt. The pads are very, very soft, but not deep enough. My ears can touch the drivers, and it's a little bit uncomfortable. You have to keep them in mind and get used to it. The design aspect of this headphone is weird. They are huge and can look really dumb while on your head. I've heard mixed opinions about their aesthetics. Some people think they look cool, others don't, but it has a reason to be so huge, which I'll discuss later. The headphone generally feels cheap. It's all made of plastic and it's really light, which sure makes them feel more comfortable, but on the other hand, it also makes them feel cheap in hand. I don't necessarily have a feeling of them being fragile or anything like that, so I wouldn't be too worried about their longevity. How about the amplification and sound? They're extremely easy to drive. Being a dynamic driver with a low impedance of 32 ohms and a high sensitivity of 100 decibels, you don't have to worry about their amplification at all. Now the tonality. <laughs> That's the fun part. Just take a look at the frequency response graph. There is a massive, enormous boost to the bass and low mids. I'm pretty sure that the big size of ear caps has an effect on the bass, as it has room to reflect. That's paired with a stepped back higher mids and somewhat picky highs. That combination has one downside which I found really noticeable. It makes many female vocals sound boring and lacking energy. To be honest, HER9 specializes in bass. There is a lot of it, and it's really punchy. I'm not sure what they did to them, but the bass doesn't bleed to the mids, at least most of the time, because it sometimes happens. With that crazy amount of bass boost, it's unexpected. What's also unexpected is that it doesn't sound muddy. There are songs where it can get a tiny bit muddy. Now, the soundstage and separation. As for a closed back dynamic driver headphone, you'd think it's going to have an extremely intimate sound. But you couldn't be more wrong. Fine, it doesn't sound the most open, because it's not an open back headphone, but the massive amounts of space behind the driver makes them sound significantly wider than you'd think they are. The sound separation isn't the greatest. It's not quite what this headphone is trying to achieve. It can get easily overwhelmed by a lot of sounds at once, so you won't be able to catch every single sound and instrument in the mix. This effect is even more amplified by the lack of higher frequencies, which often lead to a sense of detail in sound. Conclusion time. Should you buy the Hyphoman HER9? It depends on what you're looking for. If you're a bass head, then sure, it's pretty cheap for the bass quality and quantity it offers. If you're in the market for some unique looking and sounding headphones, and it's not your only pair of headphones, then I think it probably would be a good buy. But in case you're in the market for a headphone that has a really wide soundstage, image separation, sound clarity, or you'd like to hear every single detail in sound, then it's definitely not a headphone for you. And you should watch any of my other reviews. 